Hi there, my name is Bajay Floch and this is no April's full joke, this is just another lesson on how to use Python with Fusion. I prepared two notes. The first one is a text note which says Fusion and the second text note says Python. Now all I have to do is to run my Python script, Fusion Widget Body Text. And now it creates a bunch of notes for us and it starts simulating. This will take a while, so I pause the video. Okay, the simulation is done, so let's see what we have. So, as you can see, that's a rigid body simulation inside of Fusion. The simulation was done inside of Python and then the transform nodes of the animation were created. If we take a look at the spline editor, here's the animation data. So how was it done? Of course there's a little cheat. We've used the Open Dynamic Engine, an open source engine for rigid body dynamics. There are Python bindings for this engine and that's where we started. I used a script from Roger Stucker as base, which you can check out on his website or on Vimeo. So all I did is I converted his script and instead of using 3D shapes, I've used my fusion objects. So here's where the simulation takes place. And from, from time to time objects are spawned which create a shape. And this is actually my own function, which creates the transform node and connects it to either the comp fusion or the comp python tool which is actually this one or this one. And since these objects match the size of the simulated object, the transforms will act correctly. All that I did at the end was connect them to a merge and here we have our simulation. Of course you could do other simulations with this framework. It's up to you how to extend Fusion with all the available libraries for Python. If you want to try this out on your own, you have to download the PyODE library. Unfortunately, I couldn't find the 64-bit version, so we have to do this on the 32-bit version for Python 2.6. Another good example why it's important to have the Python script library to work with other versions of Python. I will make the scene and script available so we can play around with it. See you next time!